Hello, friends, and welcome to Sleep Tight Stories. Bernice is back, and she is starting to get ready to go back to school. She has been over to Bobby's house and saw the supplies he got for going back to school. When she gets home, she has a few questions for Papa Bear. Bernice gets ready for school. Hi, Papa, I'm home, yelled Bernice as she walked in the front door of their small house, kicking off her sneakers and closing the door. I smell something super yummy, which is really good because I am also super hungry, she said. I thought you might be. That's why I cooked you some peas, asparagus, and cauliflower for snack, Papa Bear said from the kitchen. I love vegetables, Papa, but there is no way what I smell is those vegetables, Bernice said as she zoomed into the kitchen. Papa Bear's favorite room in the house. What does it smell like? asked Papa Bear. It smells like cookies, Papa. Can you guess what kind? Don't look. See if you can guess, Papa Bear asked with a great big smile. Are they chocolate chip? They are not. Are they oatmeal? Nope, last guess. What if I guess wrong, Papa? Bernice said with a look of concern. Then I get a bite of your first cookie, Papa said laughing. Hey, Bernice said with a laugh. Okay, are they peanut butter cookies, Papa? As Papa Bear placed a plate full of cookies on the table, he said, this guessing game wasn't really fair as I tried a new recipe today. These are called Funfetti cookies. I don't mind if the guessing game isn't fair if I get to eat some cookies, Papa, she said as she took a bite of the first one. Very yummy. I love the sprinkles on top. I'm glad you like them, little bear. Have a cookie and a drink of milk. This is our afternoon treat before dinner. So take your time and eat them slowly. Okay, Papa. So how was your afternoon at Bobby's house? Did you have fun? Is Bobby excited about going back to school? Yeah, it was fun, Papa. We played some games and then we watched a dinosaur movie. We've watched this movie so many times, but that's okay. Bobby seems to be excited about school, Papa, but he showed me all his school supplies. Did he get a new hammer and chisel this year so he could find dinosaur bones around the schoolyard? Papa Bear said with a smile. No, I think he got a shovel this year. But he did get a super cool backpack, Papa. It is super big and has so many pockets, even a place for his stinky sneakers. And it has solar power and a place to charge a phone. He said it even has a fridge inside. Wow, that certainly sounds fancy, Papa Bear said. I was wondering though, Papa, why can't I get a super fancy backpack like that? Do you think you need a backpack like that? Asked Papa Bear. Well, it certainly is fancy. Mine is kind of plain she said, looking at her backpack that was hanging on the back of her chair. How does it make you feel that he has that backpack? Papa Bear asked as he poured Bernice a little more milk. I don't know. I just kind of felt funny, I guess. I should be happy for him, right? Because he loves his backpack and he said he could carry my lunch in his fridge if I liked. Bobby always gets excited about these things. I think you made great choices this year with your school supplies. You have a nice backpack that suits you, 
extra coloring pencils, that science and math workbook you really liked, and all the other things on your list that your teacher said you needed. You also got something else, remember? I think so. What am I supposed to remember, Papa? You picked out all kinds of extra school supplies for your friends who might need them. I think that that is something that should make you feel happy. I know it makes me feel very proud that you thought of your friends. Yes, I guess so, Papa. I do like my backpack you and Mama bought me. Bobby makes everything seem so much fun. He's a great friend, Little Bear, and I can't wait to see his fancy backpack. I'm sure he will show you when he comes over, Papa, Bernice said with a big grin. I'm sure he will, Papa Bear laughed. Now, how about another cookie? Yes, please. Are you ready for your bath, Little Bear? Yes, Papa. Can you put extra bubbles in the water tonight? I need extra bubbles. Sure, I think I can do that. Sitting in her warm bath, surrounded by bubbles, Bernice asks, Am I ready for school, Papa? Did a little bear just ask me a question? All I see is a pile of bubbles, Papa Bear said, looking around the bathroom for where the voice was coming from. You're teasing, Papa, Bernice laughed as she wiped the bubbles from her face. Oh, there you are. Do you feel ready for school, little bear? I think so. We packed all my school supplies. Mama cleaned all my favorite clothes and you folded them and I put them all away. We are a good team. Yeah, I'm going to miss summer, but I am really looking forward to seeing all my teachers again and my friends and math class. Some change is good, I think, so I guess I am a little excited. Yes, math class should be fun this year, and all your teachers and friends are looking forward to seeing you again, too. I think you are ready, little bear. You have all you need, and it's going to be a great school year. I think so, too. Well, it's that time again, Papa. Are you sure you want another story, Little Bear? Of course, Papa. I love the stories you tell me. Did you brush your teeth? Yes, and I did my best job. Are you comfy and warm? Yes, Papa. How about Twigga, Wolfie, and Madeline? Are they ready for a story too? I think they are. Okay, give me a big hug and a kiss, and I'll tell you a story. Thank you, Papa. Once upon a time, in a world full of magic and fun, there lived a brave little bear named Boo Boo. She lived in a large castle at the edge of a mystical forest. And in this forest, there were unicorns, fairies, gnomes, and all manner of insects, birds, and animals. It was a wonderful place. Her best friend was a young dragon called Kai Kai, and they liked to play as much as they could. The kingdom they lived in was full of people who lived in the meadows, those who lived in the hills, and those that lived in the forest. And they all lived in harmony. On this day, Boo Boo was meeting Kai Kai outside her castle to talk about their school day. Boo Boo had just finished her first day of school, and Kai Kai had been to school too. But Kai Kai's school was quite a bit different from Boo Boo's, and not just because he was a fire-breathing dragon. In addition to all the regular subjects that many of the kingdom study, Kaikai also had to learn specific skills related to being a dragon. 
This year, Kai Kai was learning more flying techniques, lair building, fire breathing techniques, and how to grow his own food. Kai Kai was especially interested in learning how to grow his own food because he knew Boo Boo liked growing food in her own garden. And growing his own food meant he could get along better with his neighbors. Kai Kai swooped down from the sky to where Boo Boo was waiting in the garden. Is the gardener here? He quietly asked. Though the gardener was warming up to him, Kai Kai was still concerned that he might get upset if he saw him. The gardener was from a different time when dragons were not as careful as they are today. And when he first met Kai Kai, he was concerned he might stomp on some plants. No, he's gone into the castle to help make some honey tea for the kids that are visiting, Boo Boo said. Phew. So, how was school today? I know you were a little bit nervous about your first day, Kai Kai asked. It was a good day except that I had my shirt on backwards, I forgot my lunch, and I walked into the wrong classroom, Boo Boo said with a sigh. Ha ha ha, that sounds like an eventful start. Yes, it was good for a laugh. Everyone in the school knows my name now, Boo Boo said with a laugh. You're famous now. Infamous, I think. You don't seem too upset about it. You seem pretty happy. So I guess that it's just a funny thing, right? Asked Kai Kai. Bixie used to say something like, it's water under the bridge. We all have those kinds of days and I got mine over with. So the rest of the year should be uneventful, Boo Boo said with a smile. You hope, Kai Kai said with a laugh. My classmates were good about it, and we all had a good laugh. So, how was your day, Kai Kai? Well, mine was not as fun-sounding as yours, Kai Kai said. Luckily, I don't wear shirts, and we only have one classroom. This past week, old master Tan Wen gave us a bunch of tests to see, in her words, how far we have fallen behind over the summer break. Tests, ugh. She sounds like a super tough teacher. She is the toughest. It is going to be a challenging year, I think, Kai Kai said with a sigh. Ah, perhaps Tan Wen just wants the best from her class. Boo Boo, you sound just like my parents. That's the exact same thing they said, Kai Kai said laughing. Tan Wen is a great teacher. It's easy to see how kind she really is if you look. Speaking of parents, I think mine want me to come in early today. They want to know how my first day at school went, so I don't think I can play today. And it looks like the gardener has kindly done my chores for me, Boo Boo said. Okay, but first tell me about science class. You were excited about that one since you have been having extra classes with Bixie. I think Bixie must be talking to the science teacher because we talked about trees today. It's the first day, so we didn't discuss much, but I did learn that if a birdhouse is hung on a tree branch, it won't move up the tree as the tree grows. Hmm, maybe we should try putting a birdhouse up on a tree this weekend and see what happens, Kai Kai said. Good idea, it could be our weekend project. See you tomorrow after school, Boo Boo said as she left to go inside the castle. Wouldn't miss it for the world, Kai Kai yelled as he flew up into the sky. And with that, Papa Bear gave Bernice a kiss on the forehead, adjusted her blanket, making sure that her friends were comfy too, turned off her lamp and quietly whispered, I love you, little bear. And that's the end of our story. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>